next question, I think. Uh, but before that, I'm just going to, I'm pointing down here, my favourite monster of all time in Doctor Who, which is surprising to some people, but mm. is Bill Major Steyer. Not just any sometime, Steyer. I love Steyer. Lynx is he's damn good, but I've got that. And so that brings me to the question, beautifully done, Phil. Gorgeous, and how did that thing look lovely mask? But basically, John Friedlander, who is one of my, growing up was a name that I probably said every day, because I'm looking at the Doctor Who monster book and all that. What do you think of how do you rate what he did? Just to, to be on, you know, what was his impact on you? Or uh, well, his impact is huge, but he, he, he really was probably the very best and, and the his imagination and his just his whole artistic approach to everything he did was wonderful i mean i uh, i can remember seeing a picture of him in the back of uh, a magazine i think it might have been a radio times thing a 10th anniversary thing and if i remember correct in, in fact it wasn't this photo but it was another photo i think from the same same time where he's got a mould and he's pouring the latex out he's got a pipe on the go yeah. and it looks so it was just a whole other era you know and, and he looked he looked very confident very you know and i thought gosh that is the sort that's the sort of job you want to do not that i smoke a pipe but i just love the idea that he it all looked very relaxed and very and he f kind of made it feel effortless and his imagination was extraordinary. I mean, I, I, I often think about his Davros, you know, it's, it's not done over a face cast of anybody. I think it's done over a bust of Dave Allen, it's not something <laughs> weird like that. And, it, and so the fact that it fits so beautifully, and it moves and it's got all this character, and he gives it this huge head yes. for no skull, for no particular reason, but it's brilliant and it just looks good. I love the imagination of a lot of the, the the more traditional monster makers because they were slightly more theatrical and they 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 weren't kind of hampered by a bit like i suppose we would have been sort of post star wars stuff which was all a bit more po-faced and, and so on i love the imagination of some of those that, 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 that's some time just when it takes its head off the shape of the head, and I still think even now is a reveal when you watch it, it still holds up. It's still, but there it was a, a, a kind of gag, wasn't it? Someone had said, I think one of the producers or something said, Wouldn't it? Oh, no, the writer, wouldn't it be funny if he has a shape of helmet? And then when he takes his helmet off, his head's the same shape. Yeah. Ha ha, you know, that's it. And that's kind of where they come from. And the idea that. It's just such a clever idea. He realised them beautifully well. I think he was a clever technician as well. I'm going to hand it on because I could talk about it now as well. Yeah. Likewise, John Friedland was a huge in influence on me. Um, like Stephen, I saw the photo in the back of the 10th anniversary special of him holding the draconian mask and that made quite quite an impact, so, along with the little article about how, how he made it. Um, his creatures were all brilliantly executed and he was a proper classically trained sculptor he knew all the correct ways to measure a face and a head and um, i think there was some connection between his training and the guy who taught rodan sculpture actually um, and I, I was very fortunate. I got to spend an afternoon with, with him when I was in my 20s and he was really helpful and recommended the books on sculpture that would be most useful to read. And um, so as well as being a brilliant artist, sculptor and technician, he was uh, a really nice, friendly guy as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just going to reiterate everything the guys have said. I mean, there's something wonderfully organic about Friedlander's designs. There, there's, there's a simplicity about them. There's a boldness to the sculpture. The sea devils are a case in point. They're, they're very broadly yeah. blocked out, but they work instantly well. And he didn't fuss about, do the eyes blink, do the, do the mouth work, it didn't matter. We're just going to make it look good, and you'll do all the work in making it feel like a real creature. Um, you can get potentially not too bogged down with the realism of it. As you say, it's, there's a, a theatricality to, to Doctor Who monsters from the 70s that works instantly. It's still, it's still sustainable, it's still horrible. 